Hi all, uh, we've got Max Garcia here again. Uh, Max was a Sergeant Major in the Marines for 24 years. He led 1,200 uh, uh, Marines. He's traveled the world, Afghanistan, served in many, many different tours. But in our last video, he was talking about loyalty. We're talking about loyalty. And he brought up this concept of loyalty money, okay? And loyalty money means that loyalty is a currency, yeah? Talk to me about your idea of how to build your loyalty bank and what is the currency of loyalty? Right, so I guess it's more of an expression that I like to use, but every time you you do something for an employee, you do something to purposely create loyalty, it's almost like you build a storehouse of loyalty money, like, uh, you know, think about it because all these things add up and they remember this. However. If uh, an employee think, well, your EVP, you know, you get, you know, the apple, the apples at lunchtime for free and the free yoga class, is that loyalty money? It, it can be. Because in my opinion, it's not. It, it, it like it's an expectation. It Once it's there, it's there, it's there, it's there, it's an expectation. How do you build a loyalty money? Right. Or a loyalty currency. Right. The, the biggest thing for loyalty is, is thinking of, about people, caring about people. Everything that they do revolves around their family, thinking big picture, thinking a uh, longer term. Um, the biggest things I highly recommend is approach leadership with three different things in mind. Engage leadership, which we talked about last time. Intrusive leadership, which we'll talk about at another time. And servant leadership. Let's talk about intrusive leadership now. Okay, sure, all right. Intrusive leadership, the best way I can explain it is, uh, is to give an example. Yeah, yeah. So say, you just hired someone on named Bob. Yep. Bob, you just hired on two weeks ago, yep. and you're you're walking the lots where everybody works, or you're walking the offices, because you should be, if you're in a leadership position, always engaging your people every day. I know it's time consuming, but consider it time invested. You're walking the lots, you come across Bob, who just got with you two weeks ago, and you have a quick chat, you find out how he's liking the company, how he's doing, and then in casual conversation, you say you know things like, so Bob, are you from around here? Married, kids, just in casual conversation. And Bob might say something like, uh, yeah, well, you know, I've been married for a year and uh, no kids, but we have our first baby on the way. Okay. And you say something like, again, I call this intrusive because you kind of got to dig a little bit. You kind of oh, got to ask a question, you got to right. intrude a little bit. And people are funny about this, but it's just casual conversation. So ask questions. And, and you say, you know, Bob, congratulations. That's so awesome that you've got a baby on the way. And then, then maybe you give Bob some of, a couple recommendations based on your experience and the stress of having a baby. So you say, Bob, you know what? I know your family and everybody's excited for you and you probably hear all the good things, but what? it's You've stressful. What? You've done this with me. I have seen you do these three leadership styles with me. Okay. And here we are doing a video series together. So obviously it works. So intrusive leadership is actually going down the rabbit hole to actually find out more detail about people at a core level. Yeah? Yes, yes. So that you can help them in their path because when you help them, when you give advice about what to do and they have the baby, this and that, attending new parent support class, whatever you help them, then they're going to remember that you went out of their way to help them. And that is part of the currency. Yes, and you build some loyalty money.